Okay, we're gonna take another video of part of the property. And I know that looks exciting, isn't it? It's a bush, it's a weed. Yay. It's a pain in the butt, it pokes at you. It's got thorns and it'll stick to you. And that's part of the reason why it's here because they're thorny. It's great for habitat for like the native quail and things because they can get under there and hide in there. They also like to hide in the tall grasses and such, but hey, we're at the back corner. One of the, the other back corner of the property. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna walk across along the fence line and you'll understand why I say we need to clean along the fence line because this one's atrocious. So, what do you guys think? You're laughing at me? At it's true. Up. There is a cross sitting right there. So we're gonna go exploring along the fence line here. We did kind of do this the other day, but we had a problem, so we didn't finish filming, and we never saw that video, so that's okay. We'll do it today. Or we tried to do it, and it didn't happen. But as you can see, this is probably the worst fence line that we have, and as you can tell, there's a big pile of brush that's you know, I'm not sure I want to walk through that, so I'll go around it. People nail things to the fence, don't they? And like I say, here's a prime example of the grape growing up on something. I don't even know if that tree is alive or not. Is a it's a mesquite tree. You can see some leaves, so I guess it's still alive right over there. But the grapevines run all up it and have taken over the top and kind of making it hard for the tree to live. So when we get around to cleaning up some along the fence line, that might all get chopped off and let the tree grow. Then move off of it. There, let's see if I can look at that in. Don't walk in it. Okay, obviously, I was told that this is all an anthill, and yes it is. It's a little chilly here. It's probably hibernating. You see that goes probably back 10 feet on the side of the property line. It's probably 20 feet wide. And easily goes forever back off in that direction too, another 10 feet. So it's easily a 20 by 20 that really needs to ant be colony of something sort. That really needs to be we don't know what kind of ants they are. If they're, Native. they don't harm us, then we don't need to necessarily kill them. If they're native to the area, that's kind of okay. If they're, if they're not native, then you're right. They're, if they're like leaf cutter ants, then that's not a good thing. So, I had a neighbor approach me saying that he wanted to uh, work on getting this fence replaced. I think he wanted me to pay for everything to get it replaced. I kind of told him that uh, I have some stuff because I bought some for a fence project that he could have, but I think he was not happy with me telling him that that's all I got <laughs> because I wasn't going to pay to have somebody do the fence. You see, something's been digging here. I'd hate to have you know, a big old pile of I dirt that something's been digging in there. We do have critters that live here in a while. That one goes down under in there. Whoa. So we're going to just leave them and keep going. So now is where we're running into our time to go through the woods problem again. Careful guys, pokey branches. Twist and roll, twist and roll. Nice thing about this is mostly the cows have already provided us a little uh, walking trail through here. We could go through there, but once again, you see all the 
grapevines that have grown up into this tree. And there's also... And this tree is definitely dead already, so... And there's also stinging nettles out there. There's a bunch of stinging nettles down in the ground. That would be a good place for a cow to hide and have a baby. It'll be a good place to hide for lots of things. Wild hog, cow, He might have wanted to go the other way, I don't know. It would probably be easier to go the other way, Arthur. Yeah. Go the other way, we'll wait. Then we're back to a spot that we identified was a problem. Right here, we found that the fence was all knocked down. It's missing this pole. The next wooden one over there is broken. One this one's laying on the ground. So we went and found four T-posts, brought them up here, drove them in the ground. Bend over and go under it. I'll help him get there. Well, have him help you. Arthur, grab it and push it away with your glove. Don't grab the spines, but just push it away. Here, come grab this stick and help pull it. We're trying to figure out how to get through that one right there. Just grab it and go slide that up there and he can use it and push with it. Douglas, if you, if you hold that in front of you and push, it'll... So, needless to say, when I decide to... Douglas, hold it vertical. Hold it vertical, and then you can push the whole thing in front of you. And then you can push against it. Push straight up. Vertical. Now slide through. Right? Keep coming. Keep coming. Arthur, move out of his way. Sorry, right. we had to get a little bit... Uh creative here. They're getting through. So I gotta get these wired in. I don't have any. I do have clips. I don't know where they are right now. One of the boys thinks he knows where it is so I'll grab them and sneak back here in a little while and clip them on. No I'm not gonna show. What? I know you can shake the tree. Come on. So we hiked back over here with the T-Post and the T-Post driver. Now, apparently I gotta pick that up while we go continue on our walk. Cause I had him bring it over here and throw it here on the ground. The last time I noticed that we had some problems with cows getting over a fence, they were right here too. So I brought a bunch of T-Posts in, stretched it up tall and Got it connected again. Like so these, these are the clips. clips. Yes. Yeah, I know those where those clips. are. I know Good. Where those are. Then we're going to go find them. <laughs> and I can come back here with pliers and wire that other section back up. So. Once again, a bunch of brush that needs to be cleared away from the fence. Do you remember this? And then, no, because we haven't been here okay. yet. Watch out. We gotta go up and down, up and down, and it's fun for a six foot tall guy that's, what, 250 pounds to bend over and go through all of this. I know, you guys are laughing at me. Not so good. are my boys. <laughs> so, I did that section right over there a little while ago. Did some of it along here. Like I said, I don't know, maybe it was something that was over on my neighbor's property that came over and decimated my cactus field. That must have been what it was. It was my neighbor's fault. It wasn't my cows at all. It was our cow. It wasn't our cow. Our cow would never eat a cactus. 
Okay, maybe I saw, I may or may not have seen him. Don't have any photographic evidence. But, when you see a cow carrying a chunk of cactus in his mouth, it kind of leads you to believe that he was a culprit. Did he hurt Obviously not, he's running around. And right here is about where we get to the other corner that we started, or we didn't start at, we started up by the house the other day. So now they have seen this spot before, but not with the sun out shining. And I gotta crawl down here and get down low. Cause this opening's only four feet tall or something like that. I know you can, I can't. And we come back out to the other back corner of the fence where we run into the property with my neighbor. I had to come over here yesterday because somehow, actually I know how, but our bull decided to go on to the other side of the fence over here. And that was a story for another time. So to walk over this fence, walk across his field, crawl under the barbed wire fence over there where that little roof is that looks like it's on the ground and get my bull and chase him across my neighbor's field and get him back on my fence. But yay, that was the fun of that, and I didn't bring you along. Well, I hope you liked that video, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye now. What are you gonna say? Bye. Love you, see ya, bye. Love you, see ya, bye.